example, Social Development Minister Susan Shabangu will explain why she suspended a process to get a new tender to take over grant payments from CPS. She will appear before Parliament's Social Development Committee. ENCA senior reporter Annika Larson is outside Parliament. Annika, of course, with only five months to go before a new service provider is supposed to take over, that action from Susan Shabangu now being questioned. Yes, I think we need to watch this very closely, Shahan, after the uh, terrible uh, troubles that were plaguing the grant payout system and the tender process in the Constitutional Court uh, in the past uh, several years, really, it's been dragging on now. Look, the Minister's in a difficult position. She's, taking, she's taken over what uh, can only be described as a, a, real, uh, a really messy situation. This particular issue that she's dealing with and she's brought in Treasury, which is always a good sign, uh, is the uh, cash tender bids. So that is for the uh, about two and a half million grant beneficiaries that live in rural areas who haven't got access to a ATMs. Now CPS has got an extension on that service provision until September. What's happened now is that contract has been suspended. G4S, who's a, a competitive bidder, uh, contending bidder, they raised a red flag and saying they were uh, very concerned about the tender process. Uh, there's also a concern, she says, about the technical ability of people on the team choosing that tender contract. So uh, she has suspended it. She's done it in accord with Treasury uh, and she did the right thing. She approached the Constitutional Court and told them of any material changes that were going on within SASA. Uh, but I think she'll have to give more explanations now as to whether this is going to mean that CPS get yet another extension if this tender process is not put in place in time. Remember that the post office has said that they can't actually uh, at this stage roll out the cash payment process. They can only do the uh, grant beneficiary payments on time with the banks. Uh, so this is specifically for the cash payments uh, and I think that we'll get uh, more from Minister Shabangu, uh, certainly from SASA, from Pearl Bengu, who's the uh, CEO of SASA. Uh, Treasury will be there too uh, and it'll get, uh, we'll get some idea of what exactly is going on. The other issue that happened last week was that uh, Shabangu met very late uh, in the evening, well at about seven, uh, with social development and, and expressed concern about the performance performance plan for social development. Remember, it's not really hers, it's actually the former minister's. Uh, so we'll hear what her concerns are uh, and how the meeting went with the Interministerial Committee on this crisis, uh, this what was being called by MPs in the committee a manufactured crisis, uh, how that uh, hearing went at the union buildings on Thursday, led by the head of the IMC, which is Dr. Nkosuzanit Lamini Zuma. Now, Annika, since Sasa has failed so dismally over the past couple of years to get this right, there are calls for Treasury to actually take over the payments uh, from the DA. I, I know that Treasury um, has has become uh, very involved in the curatorship, if you like, uh, of the rollout of the new plan uh, that's dealing with the post office uh, and the banks. Uh, there have been questions raised over whether Grinrod Bank is not essentially doing the same work as CPS. Um, but Treasury seems in the suspension of this tender process, I've seen a letter from Treasury saying that they uh, approve of the suspension of the tender process. We'll hear from them why. Uh, but they seem to be playing quite an active role in making sure that there are no self-made emergencies, which means that uh, when you make a self-made emergency, when you make an emergency in a, in a particular ministry, it means that you don't have to go through the proper procurement plans uh, in order to, to get tenders. So they seem to be playing an active role, and I should think that they will be in the committee, if not uh, the deputy, then the minister himself, uh, to discuss what exactly is going on uh, at SASA. All right, thanks for that. Appreciate it. ENCA senior reporter Annika Larson.